Today I'm going to show you how you can make a puppet using a stick. Here is a twig. It's got quite a good nose and face shape already at the top. But I'm going to use a sticky label and just draw and then cut out and stick some eyes on to my twig. So they stand out a bit better. You can also use paint if you want to for this or um, other pens or even glue and paper. Then take a piece of rope or string or twine and cut a length of that and then you wrap it around your stick where you want your arms to be and tie a kind of loop knot and then I'm going to do a double knot there just to make sure that it doesn't undo and then taking the end of each piece of twine just tie a knot in the end there where the hand would be that extra weight can be quite helpful in for your puppet's movements make sure we do the other hand and there we go one stick puppet Here's a different way that you can make a puppet using some twigs and some sticks. I've got various lengths of sticks and twigs that I'm going to lay out to make my puppet shape. So this is my person shape. Put one piece for the body and then the top of the arm and the bottom of the arm and the top of the legs and the bottom of the legs. So I'm just organising my stick person so I've got all the twigs in the right place. Now I need to join them together. So I'm gonna take my two leg sticks, hold them so that the knee joint um, twigs, the ends of the twigs are in line. And then I'm gonna take a piece of tape and stick it on one of the twigs and then over onto the other twig. Then when I open them out, there should be a gap in between them. And I'm gonna roll my tape up and make sure it's really well stuck on to my twigs. But that gap in the middle can then form a hinge so that's quite a good knee joint so i'm going to do the same on my other two twigs that make my other leg lining up the ends sticking the tape over opening it out and then rolling the tape up so we have that gap in the middle of just tape for our knee hinge and then doing the same with the elbows on both of the arms now for the bits, the top of the legs where it attaches to the hips of my puppet. I'm going to take another piece of tape and I'm going to tape it on to the end of the stick and go around so that then I have a tab of tape stuck onto the stick. I'll do that with all of my arms and legs, so where it will join to the hips and where it will join to the shoulders. Now I'm going to attach my legs. I'm going to do this by taking those tabs of tape at the end of the legs, putting them next to each other, laying a piece of tape just over the top of those, and then sticking that onto the bottom of my body twig. Just making sure that my legs will still bend slightly backwards um, to allow for a bit of movement. And then I'm gonna stick one end of my tape on and then wrap the rest of the tape around so it's really securely stuck onto the bottom of my puppet body. Right, now for my puppet arm, I'm gonna take the tab where th at the top of the puppet arm, where the shoulder will be, lay my puppet arm onto the body where I want my arm to go, up so it's up in the air um, or up next to the puppet's head. And then taking a piece of tape, I'm just going to take that tab of tape on to my puppet body and then repeat this again on the other side so that then when I lift my arms back down again, they go over the tape and it's all stuck in place. Secure any loose connections with an extra bit of tape. So now you should get quite good movements in the shoulders, in the knees, in the hips and in the elbows of your puppet and then you can decorate. So here I'm just sticking on some eyes using sticky labels and pens and drawing on a mouth 
but there's lots of different ways that you can decorate your puppet. Here's an example of a different puppet that's made in the same way. So for this one, I've used ribbon and sewn it together to make a pair of trousers, which I've then taped on. My masking tape was covered all the way down the arms and around the whole of the body. And then I've used tissue and glue to color that in. The stick is just a little bit longer, which means that I can use it as a control stick for moving my puppet around. Otherwise, you would need to hold on to the back of your puppet's head when you're moving it or onto its hips. When I'm moving the arms, I just take my finger and thumb and move from the elbow or the wrist of my puppet. Ideally, I want my audience to see as much of my puppet as possible, and I want to make the most of all of those lovely leg and arm movements. Explore all the movements that your puppet makes. You can also tie twigs together using twine to make puppet characters. So here I have one long twig, which is my puppet's body, and two shorter twigs, which form the arms, and I've used some rope to tie them together. How you tie your sticks together can affect the movement of your puppet. So here I've added some legs as well, and I've just made sure that the way that I've tied my sticks together means that they will still move independently from one another. That way I can get my puppet to wave or even run. If I tied my string too tightly around my twigs, then they would be rigidly stuck together and I wouldn't get that same movement. But maybe that would work with a different kind of puppet to the one that I was planning. So just have fun. Enjoy making puppets from twigs. <laughs>